Hey everybody, it's Georgia Farming and Fluvog. It is December 18th, and I thought I'd just give you guys an update of where the bananas are. I just wanna apologize for not posting a video. My wife and I actually just had our first child, our first daughter, uh, so it's been a really exciting time and I've gotten behind on these videos. But I wanna show you guys what I did for my bananas for overwintering this year. Here they are. Kind of excessive, but I decided to go all out here. I actually built uh, little miniature greenhouses around each of my two main bananas. So this is the uh, double Mohoi over here on the right, and this is the dwarf Namwa. Under here, I just saved some small little puffs for the uh, ice cream banana, just because it got too big, uh, and so I didn't want to build over that one. Um, so I just chopped down the big one, and then I'll lift this up and I'll show you, uh, and just let some puffs uh, kind of survive the winter here, and we'll let them grow. Here's what it looks like. It's just standard two by fours, and then uh, a couple, uh, I think it's about five milliliter, or a millimeter thick, uh, just like clear plastic wrap. And I'll, I'll post links to Amazon to where I got all this stuff. I know it's probably too late uh, for everybody to do it this year, and I apologize for that. Um, but let me show you what I did for these big ones. So if you remember last time, I posted the double Mahoy actually fruited. And here we go. We still have the bananas. They're alive and doing well. We are starting to get some like little fungus. I think this is actually UV damage up here on the top because it's only happening on the top ones. But there is like some little spots, some sort of fungus going just because as I stick my hand in here and just kind of feel around, it is very hot. It is, you know, 70 plus degrees in there. And right now it's about 42 degrees outside in Atlanta. Uh, this next weekend we're going to get down to you know single digits so it's really going to put them to the test but they've done so great so far with multiple times it's been freezing what i added was uh some of these zippers uh, what they do uh is you just stick them on uh there's like a sticky material built into them or off amazon uh, then you cut down the middle and then it just opens and closes uh, i think they're made kind of for like uh like construction uh, type ordeals um, to like make like an airtight area um, and then you can just zip it right back up. So I do this when it gets hot out just to make sure they don't overheat or anything in there. And then to keep them warm when it gets really cold, I had these massive black trash cans that I fill with about 30 gallons of water or so. And then basically what this does is during the day it just absorbs a bunch of heat becomes like a heat sink and then puts it off at night and keeps the whole uh you know green hassle area warm and then just to help with that i have it's kind of hard to see in there there's some <laughs> like some algae growing uh but down here on the side this goes to an aquarium heater kind of like a uh, a little heater that you use for like heating like a beta fish aquarium i had that in there just to help heat it up just a little more and it keeps it at like 90 degrees uh, as best it can when it gets colder it starts losing it but it does add a little more heat and it runs uh, just a cord down here that goes back inside the house and here's the pup uh the one that hasn't fruited yet and it's starting to get really tall i mean we're we're probably five or six leaves away from getting to fruit so it'd be crazy if we actually got to fruit inside uh this greenhouse and here you can see the top and as they get close I just kind of chop them down uh, you know you can kind of see on this back side um, but it's worked out super well I'm almost kind of sweating just kind of standing in here the Sun is super bright so you can see that and let's go over here and I'll show you how the dwarf Namwa is doing come around to this side here it is we got it sloped so that water will come off the top I ordered this just in massive rolls and then cut it to size. Here's our dwarf Namwa. Remember, this is actually the pup. So that's our big one right there that uh, we cut down. And then this is the pup that is getting dangerously close to fruiting because the last one actually when I cut it down had the uh, the flower inside of it. So if I just waited for one more, we could have seen a flower. Um, but we're getting really close. Uh, this one definitely is kind of pushing across the top. Uh, so I've had to uh, cut it down a couple times, um, but it's still really doing well. 
So you can see the water kind of evaporates out here and just creates this really uh, humid, moist environment. They, they just really thrive. Look at these pups that are have come up just since I put these up. Um, so I'm gonna fill this back up with water. Um, and this has just been amazing. Again, I can open all three of these zippers uh, and get some airflow in here so they don't overheat when it does get up to, sometimes it gets up to like 60, 70 degrees uh, during the winter on some of these days. Um, but when it gets down into, you know, teens, 20s, uh, these stay up in the 40s and 50s and they've just been absolutely great so far. And finally, let me show you the two that I have inside. I have, this is my Truly Tiny. See if I, there we go. Uh, it is just absolutely thriving right now. It's put out another four or five leaves. It's just really starting to grow. <laughs> There's my dog. <laughs> Uh, and it's just loving this environment. So I just give it a, a little bit of water that goes onto this tray. And then uh, this is the Vinti Copal, the fastest growing banana. Uh, and it's just been going absolutely nuts too. So it's, I put it in another trash can, it's a 32 gallon trash can, just filled it with dirt. Um, and it's been doing super well. Up top I have these just kind of grow lights. Uh, they do all right. I wouldn't say these are making a huge difference, but I added them in just to help give a little bit of oomph to them. Uh, and then, you know, obviously this is a south facing window, so we get a lot of natural light coming in that really helps to that too. And these are doing super great. These are gonna be put in the ground um, as soon as the springtime comes and the last frost comes around. Uh, and we're, we're definitely gonna get to see this one fruit. I think the truly tiny will actually get the fruiting height too, uh, just cause it, it's been really growing, but uh, yeah, that's, that's everything. Again, guys, I, I apologize for being so late on this, uh, but I'll make sure to keep you guys updated on how it goes. Thanks for watching.